Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson in Autodesk Robo Structural Analysis. In this lesson, I want you to learn on how you can model correctly within Robo Structural Analysis. And this is for a reinforced concrete building. Now, I can't overemphasize the importance of you modeling correctly so that you get the correct results in Robo Structural Analysis when you do the analysis and design. And that's what you are going to learn, the correct modeling within Robo Structural Analysis. Now, if I just switch to a different view, you see that within robot, you can switch to the analytical and also to the physical members, as you can see from here. Okay. Now, I also want to ask you to make sure that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. And if you already subscribe, make sure that you like each and every video that you, you, you watch within my channel here. That way, you motivate me to do even more and more on this channel. The other thing I want to indicate to you is that I have a course on steel design. It's a full course on steel design. If you want to master robot structure analysis for steel design, make sure that you check the link in the description in the first comment. You know, just check it out. Definitely you are going to like it. The course is, you know, is fully packed with great content. So without wasting much of your time, let's go and get started in this lesson. So the first thing that I'll start with is to start a new project. Just go to file and click on new project. What you are seeing right there are simply the templates. I'll pick the first template there, waited for it to open as you can see. Then I'll start with the grids. Just click on the grids there. Okay, we are in the X and under the numbering, I'll just use, you know, you know, the numeric values there for my, for, for my numbering. Then I'll click the first one to add it. Then the second one, I'll simply add what two. I just need to have the number of repetitions as I mean one. Then I just want to have the spacing from the previous one to the next one. I just want to have a spacing of about 3.5. So I'll type in 3.5 right there, as you can see. Then click on add. Then from the second one, I just want to have four meters. That is the spacing. Click on four there, meaning that from two to the next one is four meters. Then click on add. The next one is supposed to be 3.5. So 3.5 right there. Add it there as you can see. Then I'll switch to Y, okay, as the axis. Then change this one to ABC, okay. Then the first one, I just need to add there so that I can have the first there as a starting point, okay. Then I'll start with 443, that is the spacing. So I'll start with, you know, 4 here, from 0 there, 4 meters. Then make sure that you, you want to specify the number of repetition, that is just 1. Click on Add, then Add for the, the other one, 4 meters. Then the last one, I just want to have 3.5, okay? Just like that, meaning that from C to D, we have the spacing of 3.5. Click on Add. Then we go to the Z-axis, okay? Once you go to the Z-axis, make sure that the number of repetitions, of course, I want to have this space that, you know, three meters, and I want to have about three of these, okay? Meaning that I'm going to have one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, maybe let me reduce it to two so that we can have the base, the first story, the second, third. Let me also add another one so that we can have four stories, okay? Just like that. Then from here, I'm just going to use, you know, value, as you can see from here. Then the number of repetitions I've already indicated here. Then the spacing from one story or one level to the other. I just want to have three meters. Then click on add, as you can see from here. Once you do that, don't forget to click on apply. Click on apply there and simply close. Okay. So from here, you see that we have the plan and the view. If I go to the view, we are right here within the... 3D view. Then right here, you can also switch from YZ, okay? Depending on the view that you want to see, you can switch from here, okay? So I'll simply go to, to the plan right here. And I just want to go to, if I go down here, I just want to start with, you can see the arrows right there. I can go to the lowest one, which is the base. As you can see from here, you can even switch from there, okay? So I'll go to the base right here. So now it's time for me to start modeling, you know, the, the members here and I'll start with the, 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 the beam, I mean the columns. So the first column, 
I need to place it here and continue in that fashion. So I'll go to the columns right there, click on the columns, then make sure that under the section type, change it to RC column. Then from here, you can check if you have the column that you want to use. Of course, I want to use a 200 by 400, okay? If you want to create a different size, just click the small arrow, I mean the small box there. Then from here, you can now create your column. Make sure that you pick the concrete strength from there. This is RC column, that's fine. Then if I want to create a different one, for example, 800, this is just an example I'm giving you by 400. You can do that, then click on add and then close. Once you go to the section there, you still find it. But for this one, I just want to use a 200 by 400. I'll select on it. Then from here, I'm at the base. So it's showing me that I need to go down. So since I have that option to go down, then I need to change here. I'll just go up once to story one so that this one now should be able to work without a problem, okay? So once you do that, just click once within the beginning there, and it's just a matter of just clicking. You see that once I hover my cursor there, you know, I should be able to place my columns just like that, in that simple manner, okay? So I'll go ahead and, you know, just click the intersection for my grid. Sorry, I missed it. Make sure that you pick the intersection just like that, like that. If I want to change the a different size, I simply need to go to that one, then pick that one. If that's the one I want to use, the 300 by 400, then simply click just like that, just like that. Okay, and simply close that one. Okay, I missed this one, so I'll need to go back to the columns there. Okay, make sure that you don't miss. You can check from there where you are, then make sure that you pick that one and close. Okay, right click and cancel. Now, if I want to delete this one, let me simply select like that and simply delete from my keyboard. I can go to this one, select like that and delete from my keyboard. Okay, so as you can see, we have the columns there. If I go to the 3D view from there and right click and click on rotate 3D, I'm able to rotate like this. So you see that we have the columns. If I want to see the physical geometry for my columns, it's just a matter of clicking on the section shapes. You see that we have the face columns right there. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and create my beams. Okay. So if I want, I can create the beams within here. And that's what I'm going to do. Or if you don't want, you can still go back to the plan there. From here, this is at level three. Okay. So you can still create your beams from here. I'll go back to my 3D view. Then go to my beams, sorry. I want to create the beams to model the beams. So from here, you see that you have the beam right there as the first option, just click on it. It's still the same box. There's nothing different here, but make sure that you change to RC beam. Then from here, you can pick the beam that you want. If it's not here, the size is not here, just click there. And it's just a matter of making sure that you select the concrete strength from here. Okay, and make sure that you have RC beam, okay? If you want to change the orientation for your beam, you can change it from here using the gamma, and the sizes can be created from here, okay? I will not create a size because we already did with the column. You know how to do it. I'll just cancel this one and simply go there and just make sure that I pick the, you know, the beam that I want. I'll pick that one, and from here, I'll just make sure that I pick drag, and start picking the points, you know, from that point to that point, you see that I'll be in the continuous mode because I, you know, pick the, the drag, okay? That way you can simply continue clicking the, you know, the points like that until you finish. If I want to change the member that I want, I can simply pick it from here if it's already created and I'll simply, you know, pick that point and I'm just picking the points, the points like that. Then from here, I'll cancel once then go to this one, you know, just click like that, like that, because I checked the drag. The last point, you cancel, then you restart from there. If I want to go back to the other size, again, you know, you have to make sure that you do the preliminary, you know, sizing of your beam so that as a starting point before you start analyzing and designing, that's what you use, you know, when it comes to modeling. So I'll switch to the other one and simply, you know, just pick those points, those points, Okay, the last point, since I clicked on drag, is still there. I'll right click and cancel. Then start from that point, that point, that point, and that point. 
and just cancel okay so you see that we have all the beams now the next step is for me to create the slabs here okay before i start copying you know these stories above you know the building up to the to that level all right so to create the you know the slabs simply go to that tool there under the floors click on the floor then from here i have the 150 millimeters and the 300 millimeters if you want to to create a 200 just click on that little box at the end there just click once there then from here you can give it a different name for example I'll just give those initials you know i just want to you to see how to create it then the thickness if i wanted 200 i can do that once you do that just click on add make sure that you pick the concrete strength from here c25 is okay and close so if i go there you see that i'll find what i created but in this tutorial i just want to use the 50 150 millimeters then i'll use the rectangle and before i do anything under the model there i'll just click there and pick you know i can pick the shell okay if i click that little box under the shell if i want i can rename it okay for example let me say maybe shell shell uh, maybe one two three is that a name i just want you to see okay that that's a different one i've created then the finite element as a shell that's why i'm giving it shell as the name then under the simplified i just want to use trapezoidal and tri triangular method i want to use a two-way if you want a one-way you can so i'll use a two-way slab then click on add okay add it's already added and close it then i'm going to use the rectangle so creation of slabs is very very easy so that one there i've selected that one but make sure that you click on apply okay then you can start you know just picking that point that point and that point you know the slab is there then you can continue that point that point and that point so i'll quickly finish this one so that's how you create your slabs make sure that you you pick the intersection and it will snap automatically there without a problem okay all right so make sure that you do it one by one don't just create the slab at once okay because you want to see you want to see the behavior for each and every slab depending on the span okay and the decision that you have to make as you design the slab so as you can see the slabs the panels are there i'll simply close it okay now you see that i want to see to 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 shade you know to give it to, to to create a legend so that you can have some different colors before i start copying it up there all i need to do is to right click there then go to display okay then from here i need to go to to mark with colors then section legend by colors click there click on apply and okay you see that i can display it in those colors and if i orbit you see that it will appear like that okay now all i need to do is just to copy the flaws if i know that the members are the same going up if you have different members you can still copy and change the sizes or you can just keep on creating one by one so i'll just go in front there then what i'm going to do is just select like that in that direction then i'll simply go to you know to the next two there under edit click there and then you drag the edit button and place it there okay then i'll go to that two which is move copy click there and i just want to have how many copies one two three there are three so i can simply add three there okay then i'll just click once within the translation vector there and i'll simply pick you know this point because i want to move this point to that point okay i'll just zoom in here i'll pick that point there and bring it somewhere there you see that everything will be copied and simply close it's as simple as that if i just orbit like this you see that i have you know the complete model now if for example i don't want to serve this part i can simply zoom in and select like that and simply maybe delete even from my keyboard and orbit like this you see that we have completed our 3d model as you can see it's very very easy to do it now if i right click and cancel i can select any of these members okay if i want to change for example any 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 member any size you know I can change go to the analytical model like that okay i can go back there i can select a member if i want and change it so 
Basically, this is the procedure for you to create your 3D, you know, your 3D frame in robot structure analysis. Again, if there's something that you want to learn within the channel here, make sure that you comment there and like the videos. The more you like, the more I'll be motivated to do more and more tutorials. So see you in some more tutorials within my channel.